This is nothing short of what a computer tries to achieve, but comes up short when the display screen has a freeze. To test the stable structures, you first need to know how to break them. But in a material sense, no one needs to be as dumb as a box of rocks. Doesn't mean that they have to be one either. The ultimate illusion would be known as the phantom zone. The belly of the beast is a literal place, but it is paved in Broad Street. Broad Street is something that looks so good to be true, and then it isn't. Little lines that the point where they zig and then they zag, and in every trajector would be every photon's diagonal. And these trajectors counterparts would have an entire anti-realm universe having not the straight trajectors as all different colors but in the straight trajectors being its shadow of all the colors being black and that's what is why the vacant base would be not there or a zigzag occurring to account for all of the wave functions together being a plethora of zigzags at the Galilean Cannon's first jump to define the double jump of the Galilean Cannon. This is no different than, you know, in the Disney, where the first thought I had when I ever saw it was the movie Fantasia and Disney and Mickey Mouse. I only saw like parts of it because it was so odd. But then later I remember that there was like this thing that Mickey was fighting and it was like a demon with horns. And then in the movie, The Hotel Terror, Tower of Terror, there it is. Um, that entire embodiment of that horned figure would resemble the entire hotel in its entire. So it would have two, that's what it would couple as. The duality, of course, in this case would be the humanoid figure that in Fantasia, Nikki would be battled that but in the other circumstance where it would reside in the entirement of the hotel in the whatever that sh movie was called, the uh, Tower of Terror. And so its literal representation are two things, but then they're both the same. This in reality is actual, where there's a place called in uh, California, the Cecil Rhodes Hotel, and it is a place that is literal, uh, a literal hotel, uh, I want to keep saying Transylvania, it's not Transylvania, a literal hotel tower of terror, that's where I keep getting it messed up, because it's a hotel, but they call it a tower, so, excuse my, um, Freudian slip, the um, Cecil Rhodes Hotel is a literal like place that's haunted, but the embodiment of the haunting is like the entire building is uh, infamously known to be the embodiment of the thing that would be a humanoid figure that Mickey was in battle with. And it's only a great representation because Mickey's in battle, it was like the whole movie was led up to the final stage with the boss battles. So like all this crazy stuff in the movie, that's why I wasn't engaged because it was just all like this over the top, like musical or whatever it was. All of that was succumbed to 
this uh, one humanoid figure with the horns. And it was like uh, a great representation of like all the bad characters of the Disney universe <laughs> embodied in this like one bad spirit. And um, that's just an iconic perspective of what a Maxwell's demon would be. It is like the center point of the two Patton's plates of the difference of the universes of the matter and then the anti. And so what that would be, of course, is the multiverse where the multiverse is neither, but it accounts for both. Or just the ultimate illusion. Once again, the ultimate illusion would be um, gravity is being curved. Photons are going straight. If you could reverse that and so that the photons would seem curve and gravity would be straight would be an ultimate cage that not even something with all the energy of an entire big bang could escape you know what would be something utilized in a cage that strong would be if you had the trajector of every single path possible in a particle it's ostensibly thought to be made up of strings but we don't quite know because we don't know what quantum gravity is a quantum gravity would ostensibly be pertained to uh understanding if, at which points would photons be moving in curvatures and then where gravity would be going straight in its straightening and in order to deduct this, you would need to invoke things that aren't normally known or probably ever thought of. Where if photons had anti-photons. Normally, anything that's anti would be attracted to the thing that is its counterpart, the matter. And so the fact of the matter when matter is in a trajector with the anti-matter part of itself it meets and when they touch they annihilate and explode in fantastic energy one that is unmatched so if there were a whole bunch of anti-photons they could in turn meet and we wouldn't even know about it because they're traveling at the speed of light and we can't calculate anything that fast the other invocation i would like to construe brainstorm for a cage that could take the wrath of the beast and not have it break uh, would subject the phantom zone uh, even onto us that would allow people to sell themselves out on Broadway and end up in the belly of a beast would be if a singularities were of the observer's view everywhere this would, of course, be a multiverse of singularities from you seeing them. Anything that you look at has a observer's view where it is, you're the only person who ever sees it. It'll never be matched because no one can see the same thing and have everything measured in it directly and accounted for at that time because Lorenz contractions of contracting everything uh, from your position into a different person's position. Probably because their eyes are smaller or bigger and then the messages from the schematics of an environment are not the same on the finer scale. Even though we can't see a difference, the fact that your corneas aren't even the same shape would mean that the information going into the brains are not the same. But something that precise would only be registered uh, as singularities would be smooth. A singularity needs to be like incredibly smooth because the opposite, the opposite of it would be um, everything that we see, which is, um, not uniform. And the more that 
time persists, the more that things become less uniform because they um, all together condensed would be one uniform singularity. So why this isn't even possible if you had a multiverse of singularities everywhere that you looked is that in Schwarzschild radiuses, it's like anywhere can be condensed into a black hole and a black hole has singularities at its core well where anywhere that you do look is um an observation you're being an observer as a boltzmann brain and so if that was um condensed down to a black hole and have Schwarzschild radius have a singularity behind it you're ostensibly looking everywhere at multiverse singularities and so the multiverse that was a lengthy description probably why it had that be second is that the anti photons and the multiverse singularities would be great nodes and bridges for the cage of the um, phantom zone where it would be confined I would like to even throw out a third 